The Rottweiler is one of the most powerful and fearless guard dog breeds in the world. But at the same time, this breed is responsible for almost as many bite incidents as the infamous pit bull. So the question is, can these fierce guardians at all be trusted around children or other pets? Well, in today's video, we're going to see whether the Rottweiler is a safe family dog or a potentially deadly menace. Welcome back to the Fenrir Rotty Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Will. I'm a canine behaviourist and I'm the founder here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. And this channel is dedicated to teaching you everything you could ever want to know about the Rottweiler, then how to become a high-level canine leader that can raise perfect Rottweiler companions. So if you love the Rottweiler as much as we do here at Fenrir, start your journey by hitting that subscribe button and turning on the notification bell so that you never miss a future Rottweiler video. So then, let's dive into today's video and we'll take a good look at the Rottweiler's suitability as a family pet. Can this dog be trusted not to hurt humans and animals smaller and weaker than itself? And to answer this question, let's briefly look at the history of this awesome guardian because we can't know where we're going with a breed until we know where they've come from. So these beautiful, muscular, black and tan working dogs have been used as livestock and property guardians and personal protection dogs for centuries. During the Second World War, Rottweilers served as guard dogs for German soldiers, and today the breed has gained worldwide recognition as police and military service dogs. Especially in recent times, more and more people are interested in this breed for the purpose of personal and home protection. But what about these statistics that say the Rottweiler is to blame for almost as many dog bite related deaths as the in America as the American Pitbull Terrier? Is this a dog who not even their owners can control and who is a serious danger to children and other animals? Hey guys, very quickly, I just wanted to interrupt and let you know about our boot camp program if you've never heard of it before. It's the program that as a canine behaviorist, I use every single day with all of the clients and all of the bad behavior cases that I work with to high levels of success. It is focused on teaching you how to become a high level canine leader that is able to restructure the relationship with your dog so that they see you as that leader and they know to look up to you for guidance and direction. When we achieve that, we can then finally address those bad behavior problems and get to the point of having the perfect canine companion that you've always dreamed of. So if you want more information about our bootcamp program, the link will be down in the description box below. But until then, let's get back to the video you were just watching. Well, the Rottweiler we have today is an excellent natural guardian, bred and trained to defend their own during centuries and centuries. These are born with an exceptionally strong protective instinct, an instinct that includes any other animals living on their property thanks to the Rotties past as livestock guardians. These same instincts make Rottweilers very protective of their entire family, children and other household pets included. But then you might ask, why is it that so many accidents happen with Rottweilers? In many cases of these dogs biting their owner's children instead of protecting them. We see that the dog was kept outside of the home. Instead of being allowed to live in the house, many of these Rottweilers had spent their days in a kennel or on a chain since puppyhood, which of course would have made it very difficult for this dog and that child to form a close connection with each other. In all likelihood, many of these Rottweilers did not regard the child as part of their family because they were only handled by one person in the household. Also, Rottweilers do have a considerably high prey drive, which makes it possible that their apparent aggression was triggered by a sudden movement of the child. Now, whilst, of course, by accidents involving children are an absolute worst case scenario, similar reasons can apply to a Rottweiler biting another pet, like another dog in the household, the cat or an unfortunate rodent like a rabbit or a guinea pig. However, whilst these usually uh, is a reason behind any bite attacks, I have to say that this breed does come with a certain natural level of aggression. When compared to a golden retriever or a beagle, the Rottweiler is clearly more prone to being reactive Due to their histories and despite training and socialization many rottweilers develop dog aggression when they do reach adulthood 
Now, to all the Rottweiler lovers out there that are watching this video, please do not get me wrong. I absolutely love Rottweilers and I enjoy working with them whenever I get the chance. It is just that they need firm leadership and an incredibly experienced handler, much more so than most other breeds and even more than most other large guardian breeds. A Rottweiler without rules, boundaries and expectations can easily contribute to the breed's reputation as being potentially dangerous. Avoiding accidents like Rottweilers biting kids or other pets requires every human member of the household to be the dog's calm, consistent leadership. If this is not possible because your children are still too small to be calm, let alone to calmly lead a dog, then it is your responsibility as the dog's handler to ensure their safety. If your Rottweiler respects your guidance, it is not likely to snap at your child. Of course, you should not leave your dog and your kid together without su supervision of any kind. Now, with that said, Rottweilers can make amazing family dogs, especially when raised as part of the family and when taught to respect all humans and pets in the household. These dogs are very fun loving and they make amazing playmates, especially for older children. And because they are eager to learn, they can easily be taught to play fetch or tug of war or other fun games with the entire family. A well socialized Rottweiler who is diligently trained in obedience and manners can make an excellent family guardian who will respect and protect their own family no matter what. So that wraps up our quick discussion of the Rottweiler with children and other animals. And like I say, this can sometimes come across as negative, but I always want to be open and honest as it's incredibly important that you analyse your skill set, your experience and your lifestyle to match it up with a breed that fits perfectly. So you're setting yourself and just as importantly, if not more importantly, the dog up for success from even before you bring the dog into the home for day one. So I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, please hit that thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell. We've got two new Rottweiler videos coming here to this channel every single week and I can't wait to speak to you again on the next episode of the Fenrir Rottweiler Show.